So what do we do on the third week in uh, July in Derby? We go to the longer days. That's right. <laughs> the world you know you can go on our website and find us and you can see the events that go on here it's just it's a and there's people come for their vacations here come to visit their families at this time of year because of logger days plus we're you know we're nonprofit, so we help other organizations and all this money that we bring in goes right back out to the community it just brings a lot of good people together it really does and the competition is first class and so you know, the pole climbers, the hot saws. I mean, the hot saw is basically, you can imagine a chainsaw dragster is what it is. So a lot of these are motorcycles or snowmobile engines, um, you know, and they'll cut through this 24 inch log. They'll make two cuts. And it'll be about three or four seconds. So it's amazingly fast. So this is Derby Logger Days. We're out here this afternoon. The entire community is out here. We're actually just recreating a lot of those old, like historical, like just lumberjack sports that in those days, I mean, it was, it was hard work. So what they're doing is they're actually taking this and actually making it a sport instead. Where, where back in the day, that was, that was our job. My name is Erin Lavoie. I'm from Spokane, Washington. Um, I compete in lumberjack sports and I'm here at Darby this weekend. It's one of my favorite competitions and I've been to many around the world, United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, and um, China even. So this one is my favorite, it's just the crowd. I love Montana. It's kind of God's people, I say, God's country. And um, it's just the support and everybody around me is amazing. I love it. Nine feet up in the air, swinging that. Come on. I'm TJ Bexton from the state of Washington on the coast, contract timber faller. I've um, been competing in timber sports since late 90s. Um, been over here like six or eight years in a row. Great place, good atmosphere. Do pretty much all the events um, chopping, sawing, extra. Basically, come to race hot saws is the main reason. Other than that, come to hang out with a bunch of buddies and have fun. My name is Christine Ramsey. I go by Chrissy most of the time. I uh, work as a veterinarian full time is what I normally do. And uh, I got involved in logger sports because I'm the fourth generation of my family to do it. So for me, my dad and my uncle have numerous world titles in sawing. My grandpa does as well, my great grandpa also. So for us, it was kind of a family thing. A lot of times, if you look around here, you see kids that are with their mom and dad. And uh, a lot of times after being around here for a while, they get to be like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and they start competing. Oh, well, this is a world-class event. I mean, you've got an event where everybody who is familiar with, you know, logger sports, from the ESPN Steel Series to just to your local, actually, people from Derby, everybody wants to attend and wants to actually compete in this show. But at the same time, you've got an event that just features and plays, pays homage to our actual history. I mean, forestry in Montana is our history. The whole family, just put them in the car and pack up and come to Darby to see Darby Logger Days. Just once at least in your lifetime you should see it and visit. You'll have a wonderful experience. If you guys haven't made it out to Darby yet, please do. It's an amazing, fun, filled day. Everybody here is awesome. We put out a lot of work to do, put on a good show. And there's just a lot going on around here. And the beer is really cold. Great people, good time. Um, it's worth a drive. This is one thing to add to your bucket list. Third week in July, Darby, Montana. Come on down for one of the best logger sports shows in the country. Come on down for the friends and family and atmosphere. Can't beat it. Visit Montana, it's a beautiful state. <laughs>